I talk to people who live in the foothills and they say, well, what can I do to make my place fire safe? And I look at where they live and I say, you should move to the Valley, right? Like that there's nothing you can do, but then the Valley is going to flood. So as the, the climate guy, fire or flood, like which one do you think is the more likely, um, if you lived in California, would you be planning around getting flooded out or burned out um, as a higher likelihood with climate change? Well, let me put it this way. Our two big analyses underway right now, one of them is how prescribed fire windows are likely to change in a warming climate just due to meteorological constraints. And the other is the rising risk of a California mega flood. Those are literally the two projects we're working on right now. And so the mm -hmm. answer is, if it isn't one, it is the other. That is actually more or less true. And you know, there's no reason you couldn't get both in the same year. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Um, but you know, I think this this hints at a broader you know a broader notion is that there's there's you know there's no place that's risk free. There are natural hazards everywhere of different variety. The ones in in some ways at least fire is one that everybody in California is cognizant of. Nobody has is completely unaware there are wildfires in California who lives in a wildfire risk zone in California at this point. Maybe that was the case a few decades ago, perhaps, but there's no way that that's the case anymore. The reverse is not true. I think that there are millions of people living in, in high flood risk zones in California who have absolutely no clue the kinds of risks that that poses. And I think it has to do with sort of our, the, our, our relatively short memory. We're, we're so acutely aware of the fire risk right now because we've had like each year recently, absent like 2019 was a pretty bad fire year. Even if you define it only by structures burned and lives lost, they were all pretty bad years in California. Um, we haven't had a bad flood year by any definition in California in a very long time. Um, even though the risk is rising. So it's one of these things that if you only get big floods every 20 or 50 years, but you get big fires every fire season, 